Okie dokie. Well, hey everybody. Well, I'm um, back, back on, and uh, I'm about to do some pinball, or about to do a pinball session. Um, but yeah, I, I came from um, I came from uh, Gems of War about an hour or so ago, or yeah, about an hour or so ago. I started on that around, I think it was like quarter to seven a.m. or six forty-five a.m. Um, I broke off of that around, I guess around ten or eleven. I tried to lay down for a one-hour nap before coming back on and uh, and doing what I'm doing now, streaming some pinball. But uh, I think I got maybe a half hour and just just woke back up and you know raring to go. So since um woke up uh, woke up earlier than anticipated, I figured I said I had to get gas anyway, so just went out and got it, and I kind of did this out of order, but Joe's going to be a very bad boy. So, um, I did something I hadn't done in a very long time. Actually go inside a convenience store and buy stuff. Um, usually, especially around especially around my neck of the woods, you have to either prepay your gas or you have to um, you have to you have to pay at the pump with a card. So, that's pretty much what I've been doing lately, just paying at the pump and not actually going inside the convenience store, but like I said, today was the exception. So. Hey, welcome aboard, Martyr. So, but, um, I also stated in my Twitch description, um, typically, I prefer to just do, uh, 15, 30-minute quick sessions on pinball, but, um, because I'm, I, Doing these um, doing these long form ones, uh, the frustration starts building up over time, um, and and I'm already burnt out from playing this stuff so much over the years. So, but but I figure, nah, what the heck. So. Oh, and um, the way it, currently the way it's look, hang on, let me rewind a bit. For right now. It's going to be a pinball arcade, and this is the DX9 version, so it's kind of the crap version. Because um, I've had the problem lately, the DX11 one, the one that I like to use, is um, everything shows that it works. It's working just fine, except this, the, the game itself doesn't show. It's like invisible or something, so... Don't know what to do there, so DX9 it is. And then later on, um, I might do a, I might play Zachariah, but we'll we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. I mean it's, I mean it's got its own share of problems as well. So. I love it. 
some excellent loops on here. You only have to lightly tap the spinner and it counts. Adventure quest. Um. Um. Josh Drive Hayes. I think he did a. He did a video on that. I think I played it. Uh, way back in the day. If it's the one I'm thinking of. If it's what I'm thinking, I'll play I played it way back in the day. Probably back in the 2000s. This table here, it's fairly lenient as far as tilts go. Oh 
almost. So much for that. Oh, and in case anyone's wondering, I think my top score was like 27 million or something like that. So. Spanish eyes. Sort of kind of skill shot up there. I'm gonna try to backhand the upper left corner. Almost. Haven't even gotten to FX3 yet. I probably will later on in the evening. It's official. You suck. Need to get number three in the lower left. That. That. Nope. Can't do it. There we go. Got to get in that turnaround. But like I said, got to get in that turnaround right in the middle of the table. Ah, uh, red arrows. There we go. Got it. Now everything resets. Almost. There we go. Got it. Need to start aiming for the upper left corner. Whoops, what's it mean to do that?
Nope. There we go. Got one of them. Whoop, whoop, bad nudge. Just all kinds of messing up. Yeah, my best just ain't good enough on this table. Where the hell's that left ramp shot at? This table here is one of the reasons why I'll often intentionally tilt on it, just to get that end of ball bonus crap over with. said it ends the ball quicker and plus it's not like I'm doing anything it's not like I'm doing great on this table or anything so oh I wasn't supposed to do that all right left spinner probably won't get it probably won't get it probably won't get it We won't get it. Told you. There we go. That's fine. Yeah. Not so much for that. God, am I good? Wish I was. Quit talking and start chalking. Nice shot. Hit the ball up the ramp there. Hit the ball up the ramp there. Time's up. Time's up. Pussy flip. What kind of cowboy shot was that? Floppy flippers.
make my day. Hey yeah! Horseshoe extra ball round. Go for the horseshoe. That's fine. I think this is one of those where uh, the end of ball bonus tally it takes too long. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. double round. Here's the corner pocket. It's flashing the. Definitely my fault there. Wizard, that's it. Hurry, get the extra ball. Get the extra ball. Yeah, immediately after the ball drains. Like the game's over, partner. It's alive! This version is way superior to the uh, FX3 one. By leaps and bounds. Welcome to the Monster Bat! Brings out the worst in me. What a parcel! Come on, kid, come on! Shot eater. want to start this off.
can do. No instrument for Joe. Basically, Shake you green. Look, Master, I'm waving at you. <laughs> yes, yes, Eagle, just bring it here. Come on. All right. So. Now, I need to get that ramp. I have a, I just started a whole bunch of modes. Man, that sarcophagus makes my butt ache. So I got four modes running at the same time. So again, I need to make that uh, center ramp. I am Count Dracula, and you're not. That's the ball is lit. Mode timers are gonna stop during multi ball. It's alive! Super Jackpot! Hey, Frank, you can use this best of underway. Got him. All I need to get now is the saxophone. It's the um, the green hole on the far left. And then the um the this mode here make all the flashing shots. Basically, 
it's basically an around the world mode. Just, again, you have, you have to hit all the shots on the table. So, Monster Bash, the timer has stopped. Does anybody have some moisturizer? But like I said, this should be Monster Bash. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Transylvania Square Garden, please welcome the Monsters of Rock! Hello, Transylvania! Let's rock! Oh. Yup, got it! Got it! All instruments. So, so like I said, when you get all the instruments in Monster Bash mode, it automatically transitions over to Monsters of Rock. So this is the Wizard mode right now. it up.
All right, should have completed the mode, getting his instrument. Wait, let me pause real quick. In case I didn't um, in case I didn't explain it earlier, the way the table works. Start um, start a mode, and then you make the required shots for that mode, and you'll complete it and get the instrument. So, so if you can um, I can't really show on the table itself, but you'll know a mode has started, or let me rephrase that. You'll know a mode has at least started when you see one of the uh, one of the monsters' faces light up. If you complete that mode, then you'll see his inch, his corresponding instrument underneath. So, so start a mode, complete it. But ideally, what you want to do, um, starting any multi ball, will freeze the timers on all the modes you have running. So, what happened earlier when I said I had four mo Four modes going at once. I need to hit this. I need to hit the center ramp. That's what I was talking about. Because four modes are running. You hit that ramp. Multi ball starts. All the timers freeze. And as in case it isn't obvious, all the modes are still running. So and you got a bunch of balls out there, so you can just shoot them all over the place, and you know spray and pray, and eventually you'll you'll get all the instruments. That's what happened earlier. I got four instruments. Just off that one multi ball, and like I, like I also said a few minutes ago, um, if you collect all the instruments, in this case being a Monster Bash multi ball, which I think you get that by starting by just starting all the modes. If you collect all the instruments during Monster Bash multi ball, it automatically transitions over to Monsters of Rock. That's the Wizard mode, um, and uh. Like a lot of these other tables in the 90s, um, completing modes, um, it increases the value of every shot you make during the wizard mode. So, like what I did here, got all the instruments, so um, I can't remember how much of a Monster Bash bonus I got. I thought it said 200 million. So, but yeah, that that's from getting all the instruments, getting max point value from each target you hit. For each target, loop, ramp, etc. And then I think you get like a, a 100 million point bonus on top of that for getting all the instruments first, then start in the wizard mode. So. Alright, so I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rip it open. So, now I got three different modes started. Watch the family duel. So, that all went to shit. Now, in order to get those instruments, I got to restart all the modes all over again. Trying to go down the middle. 
See, this is really what I should be doing. Just keep hitting that off. Keep hitting these targets here, but the thing of it is, every time you do, the ball, the ball runs the risk of going straight down the middle. So. Soon, fucked it up. Okay, ball two. See, more tables need this though. Being able to just quickly skip past the end of ball bonus crap. Whoops. Something else I need to explain. If you can see in the um. Uh, the inlane here, the green thing, the green light, that's called Phantom Flip. Avoid it. What it does is it automatically flips for you, which I'm quite capable of doing that myself, and oftentimes I do a better job of the Phantom Flip, because uh, it, um, it flips at a precise time, so no matter where the ball is, which oftentimes it'll, it'll aim towards the exact wrong thing, To start the mode. See? Nope. Rolls the timer on that. I don't think I completed the mode either. Oh, 
This time that flip almost drained. You're an awesome amphibian. Those are my Bruno Mollies. Oh, that's my feet. Got everything but Frankenstein. That's kind of weird. So, everything. So, I've got all the instruments except Frankenstein. So, keep aiming for the uh. You should be able to see him. Just gotta keep smacking him, I hope. How many hits does it take? to do that. Somebody fetch me a reason! Take me for a walk. Walk. So, not what I wanted. 
Oh wait, this is Mosh Pit. Come on, stage dive tonight! Watch for that. So, I already have his instrument, so. Yeah, brother. No, I will not be your date for the concert. Thank you. So. Almost. Already have his instrument. Blah. Blah. You're beginning to be a pain in my ass. And that might have been the wrong one. Wrong one. That one. Better not. I've actually done better. You guys ready? Here we go, keep your favorite. There's a ramp in the very upper left corner of this table, back there. That's what I'm usually aiming for.
I can't. Yeah, this is a DX9 pinball arcade, so the game auto pauses whenever you, whenever I leave the, whenever I leave the game. I think I have to hit that tube right around there. That's fine. It gets the ball over with quicker. As well as the game. I'm calling the police! Ghetto table. Introducing Al's, Al's Garage, Garage Band. Band, the table that was made in Al's Garage. Now, but same thing. You can't, you can't skip the end of ball tally. So, either the right ramp or the uh, back of the table. Looks like it's gonna be neither. There we go. Blade. 
Lane. Should be. Okay, maybe not. Ever think of flipping burgers? Sure. <laughs> that was ball three anyway, so. Quite the dud. It's a beautiful Ready day. Ready on the farm. Basically, um, hit all the rollovers back there. Whatever rollover you hit, or the rollover you get corresponds to a bumper, and uh, and a rollover down here and here. So to start, it's all about the uh, rollovers up on top. Now there's a there's a skill shot up in here. It's not, it's not super duper difficult. The problem is if you don't, if you don't plunge far enough, you gotta sit and you gotta sit and wait while the ball goes all the way back down. Then you gotta avoid undershooting it as you shoot it up. But again, if you can't, if you can't clear the uh, clear the uh, alley here. You gotta sit back and watch as the ball goes all the way back down, so. Yeah, see, gotta sit and wait. Gotta sit and wait. Light all, if you light everything and hit that saucer that I just hit, um, you got it. The process starts all over again, but um, you'll get a everything is worth double. These, uh, these, the target on the right here, the target on the left, they're actually, uh, two targets in one spot. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Like I said, there's two targets. You can see this little tiny, the little silver pin, for lack of a better word. That's one target, then the, um, 
the yellowish uh, plastic thingy around it is also another target. So the way these work, if you just hit the target on the side, you're just going to hit that plastic thing and you're just going to get like one single score. You hit that target dead on, basically hitting both of them at the same time, you're going to get a bigger score. If that shot is lit, then you're going to get up. You're going to get 200. So. about that. Bumpers and other rollovers turn off, and it starts over again. So, it starts over. And now, whatever you light up, get your double. Didn't help. So, I might have be, I might have gotten close to my high score. Oh wait, that's right, never mind. Don't stop now. You're just warming up. I'm in the top five. Why why don't I get to put my initials up? But it seems they fixed this. The high scores used to be in the uh in the ten thousands. How you get there? I have no idea. I thought, I think it was bugged, but I took second. Cool. <clears throat> My all-time favorite table right here.
The way the drop targets work. Take down a bank and increase the energy level by one. If you take down both banks though, so it increases that multiplier to two. They're on after. Every bank you get gets you two energy. Then repeat that process and it becomes uh, three X. So well, yeah. if you hit the lit orange target, that'll give you one energy. Uh, there's a stand-up target back here behind the bumpers. You hit it, it gives you two energy. Oh, and uh, I think I said this wrong. The orange target gets you one energy, not two. But uh, fill the energy up, and the uh, ball lock is lit. Hit the flashing uh, ramp, and it'll lock it. It'll be for a uh, two-ball multi-ball. Normally, because of how hard this table is, I have I usually set it to four players. But I've been getting I've been getting this table um, I've been getting this table fairly often in all the sessions I've done. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna limit it to one player. Power. Unless that shit happens. Entering grant phaser. But the uh, the quick efficient way of getting points on here is actually getting the lit in lane and then shooting the lit spinner. You'll get a fair amount of points doing that, but uh, I like this table too much to do that, so I wanna I wanna like do the whole thing. So now if this were a tournament, then. Yeah, that straight for the spinner, but That's lit. Aiming for the uh, target the, at morning, the upper left. This might take. This might take a while. Multi-ball. One of the extra ball targets is going to be lit. That's the high priority because once multi-ball ends, the um, extra ball target also ends. So, yeah. And fucked it up.
Got it. Lit. So now they're now they drop now the banks are lit for three X. Before, the uh, the pink flashing extra target light is the big priority. forget to mention all of this all the things that I talked about it all has to be done on one ball so it doesn't build it doesn't build up over the course of a game so you lose your ball then everything starts all over Got it. Yep. Extra ball. Now, aside from that, just keep doing this. Just keep building up that energy meter. Oh, right, right. 
Pussy flip. Okay, I gotta... I need to pause it here because it's gonna be easier for me to explain while it's paused. In the upper left corner, um, when it says teleport multiplier, it's that uh, drop target in front of the left ramp. Hit it. And then make the flashing ramp while the, uh, the multiplier is counting down. Um, and I believe you'll get energy, or you'll get points equal to how much energy you've accumulated. If you don't have any energy at all, or very little, it's not worth making that shot. So, it's best to aim, it's best to aim for it when your uh, energy is full. But also, secondly, hitting that drop target again, you're on. You have to make the lit ramp. It doesn't always mean the left ramp. That's the other. That's the other thing too. A lot of times, it's not worth going for that shot. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay, it seemed I stand corrected on that. You also get points based on how many how many times you walk. How many times, how many multi-balls, I think that's it. How many times you build the energy slash start a multi-ball. I thought it was just... I thought it was just how much energy you have at the time. But yeah, because right when I made that ramp, my score just <laughs> shot up big time. So I'm guessing that's what that is. At your end of ball bonus, every time you fill up the energy, yeah, every time you fill up, fill up the energy, you're supposed to get 100,000 points. Cell phone's about to shut off. Black enabled. Lock is lit. Nope. Ball didn't do what I wanted it to. Pussy flip. Got it. That should have been it. Might have switched. Okay. Extra ball. Reintegration complete. 
jumpy. Almost. Locked it up. I don't, I don't think I beat my high score. I think my best score is like 15 million. I do gotta look at something, no. Trying to hit that drop target on, on the right bank. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to say it. The bank that has the flashing number, has the flashing multiplier, is the one you want to hit next. Yep.
Oh, that didn't last long. Oh, 12 mil. Almost. So, almost. Just one mil short. Nice to have done good on this table for once. And on top of that, on only one player. Like I said at the start of this table, most of the time, I have to set it to poor players because this table is so damn hard. So. Coming through. <laughs> Let's make right. some food. Oh. Deceptively hard skill shot. There it is. Oh, I got fuckoed. Darwin. Put on your dancing shoes, baby. Too much. Way too much. What a guy. Hey, look, Ted. Taxi cabs. You will remove that bulldozer from the street. Is that bothering you, Darwin? Yeah. Pussy flip. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Is lit. Just like it says, shoot his mouth. Oh no. Keep your eyes on the road. Wake up. Uh, I just skip the end of all crap. Big ol' fat shot, right in the middle. You big love. Keep your eyes on the road. Oh no. 
Big old fat shot right in the middle. Not much reason I shouldn't be hitting it. There we go. In and out. Yeah, that was a can rip off. Wake up. Oh my. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wet. That's fine. Oh no. It's like they seemingly have. Oh damn, that didn't last Don't long. Don't be a stranger. Oh, so much for that. Do I have to shoot you? Yes, you do. Howdy, partner. Time to play the board game. And if I can't consistently make that right ramp, good luck at me hitting anything else. Or that. Ready, aim, fire. And then that shit Point happens. Fire. That's a... That area over there by the left end lane is basically a taxi ramp. Once in a while that ball just comes screaming down the end lane. There's actually a left ramp, but I don't think I've ever, ever hit it, though. Okay, there's a certain way I have to do this. So yeah, 